My dear friends, it's April 1st, April Fool's Day. Coincidental irony to address our Prime Minister today. I won't let my countrymen be fooled a third time, no way. Political shambles and defeat of democracy is not here to stay. Respected Prime Minister Modi ji, where have your promises gone? Ache din. But we, your people, have been left deserted, ditched, forgotten, forlorn. You guaranteed 20 crore jobs in the last 10 years. But unemployment and mass layoffs are amongst our biggest fears. For your promise to 15 lakhs, I checked my bank account with so much hope. I'm no more a dope. I see the lie of Ache Din has reached the end of its rope. Sapka Saad, Sapka Vikas. Eloquent slogans you declared in mirth. Why then are all the minorities insecure and threatened in the land of their birth? Apki Bar Charso Par. Sir, is this your sole desire? Don't fan the flames of divisive politics and throw democracy and constitution into the fire. Jamnagar was made an international airport for 10 days. The hand that pulls the strings as the puppet dances emphasizes money pays. India's richest 1% own 40% of India's wealth. Yet your budget failed to protect the poor farmer's health. The new word for lie is guarantee. Was this your discovery or a picture of reality? Modi ji, I wonder, in your MA degree in entire political science, what have you learnt to turn a blind eye and deaf ear while Manipur burnt? Yet, a water park is installed in Imphal. For what? Brownie points earn? While suggestions on climate conversation you spurned. So now Bengaluru has no water. Manali is melting, getting hotter. Ladakh's activist fast unto death isn't getting shorter. Don't get me started on religious attacks, farmer woes, violence, rape convictions and safety of India's daughter. Your entire tenure hasn't witnessed a single press conference. Sir, should we arrange a teleprompter? With the weakening of the constitution's democratic pillars, you've lost your fans. Legislation, judiciary, media enslaved in the ruling party's hands. The right to dissent and freedom of speech slowly disappearing, shut down and out of reach. Much like the PMK's fund, electoral bonds, countless scams unjust, no transparency, no accountability, blatant misuse of power and trust. My dear Prime Minister, please tell me how elite and unlawful it is to arrest and imprison a chief minister or block the bank accounts of the opposition, shooting them in the feet. Dare anyone protest? The ED, CBI, police, IT cells will be at the door to greet. With the strong right-wing ideology pushed, there's no voice in the media left. Poaching of MLAs, breaking governments and families, mandating raids, imprisonments without bail is human rights theft. The biggest scam in political history happened during your government's rule. Scamsters got bail. Companies secured big deals by contributing to electoral bonds fuel. The very fabric of our preamble is under threat of being tattered. The sovereignty, socialism, secularism, democracy, all bruised and battered. A narcissist leader thinks by covering behind majoritarianism, he is undefeatable. Both justice and truth will triumph when voting power lies with the people. 
You are afraid of ballot papers versus EVMs. I wonder why. Is it because your totalitarian autocratic dictatorship will likely die? Honorable Modi ji, sir, on the fourth anniversary of the lockdown, we recall, as you said, Tali bajao, thali bajao, diya jalao. We did it all. Now we plead, Bharat jodo, mohabbat se jodo, nafrat se mat todo. Sir, I am a true nationalist. I love my India with all my heart. So I execute my constitutional right to speak and to do my part. To shine a little light in the darkness for all to see clearly. To vote wisely. To safeguard our India dearly. My dear friends, this may be a simple rhyme. But let it serve as a reminder. We are not fools and we will not be fooled a third time. God bless you Modi ji. Jitega India Jai Hind